Assalamu alaikum students. I'm your English literature teacher, Ismat Ara. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Students, you know the present condition of our country. Due to COVID-19, we are unable to take classes in the school. That's why I'm going to deliver my lecture class through this video. During this time period, you should maintain some important things. Wash your hand often for 20 seconds with soap. Cover while coughing or sneezing with a tissue and must throw it. Avoid touching your face with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. I'm going to explain the rest of the chapter 12, The Canterville Ghost, from page number 133 to 135. Students, in the last class, I have discussed till page number 132, where in scene 2, Mrs. Otis found the blood stain on the floor. So let's continue from page number 133. Mrs. Umni got scared, whereas Mrs. Otis was not frightened at all. Mrs. Umni told them that in 1575, Sir Simon de Canterville murdered his own wife, Lady Elenia de Canterville. She also said, he mysteriously disappeared after nine years of this incident. No one found his body, but, he, but uh, his guilty spirit roams around the chase. After hearing all this thing, Washington reacted and said nothing was like this and removed the stain by himself. Mrs. Omni was terrified and fainted after hearing a sudden thunder. She also said that she had seen many horrible and awful incidents happening in the chase with her own eyes for which many nights she didn't sleep. So let's move to scene number three. In the library, the twins saw the blood stain again and they were discussing that their elder brother, that is uh, Washington, rubbed the stain every day but it appeared again and again. So the twins made a plan that they were going to sleep there in order to catch the ghost. Number 134, scene 4. At night, Mr. Otis woke up by hearing the sound of clanking metal. Mr. Otis was thinking that what it could be. He was even hearing the footsteps. By taking a bottle of lubricating oil, he opened the door and saw an old man. His eyes were red, had a long grey matted hair and was wearing an old-fashioned dirty clothes. His wrists and ankles were bound by rusty chains. Mr. Otis, in a mocking tone, said to the ghost that he was keeping the bottle of oil and asking the ghost, to apply it in his chains and if the ghost need more oil he could ask for it. By telling these things to the ghost Mr. Otis went to sleep and closed the door. The ghost got very angry that Mr. Otis was laughing at him and gave him advice to apply oil in the chain. Then he threw the bottle and was about to going up the steps. In the meanwhile the twins had caught it and threw pillow at the ghost and then the ghost escaped. Scene 5 The ghost was very furious and talking to himself that he would take his revenge from Otis family. Do they know who he was and how fearful scene his rage could create? How dare the twins threw pillow on him? Page number 135. The ghost felt very insulted because of Mr. Otis' behavior and the twins' actions. And for this reason, he decided to take revenge very soon. That's all the chapter, students. Students, so we are done with the chapter. Now let's mark down the word winnings. Number one, intimidated from page number 130. Clammy hands from page number 131. A cold draught, page number 131. Guffawing, page number 132. Many a night, page number 133. Matted hair, page number 134. Vengeance, 
page number 134. Thank you so much students for watching the video. Please take care of yourself and your family. Stay home and stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.